So um, I'm uh, I'm leaving Czechia now. I'm going to Bratislava, in Slovakia. Um, I said goodbye to Teresa yesterday. Uh, but yeah, so now for the rest of this trip, I'll be solo. That's the last person I saw. So um, it was so nice seeing her, but now it's a solo trip. It's a solo endeavor. So hopefully, hopefully I'm well. Um, and there's no more troubles because no one can really help me out from now on. But uh, it should be fine and it should be fun as well. So yeah. So uh, Google has me sent down like an abandoned railway truck or something. I don't know. It looks cool, but one of the weirder routes I've taken. Chickens. Go have a look at the chickens. I'm, uh, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, I put my eccentric Hawaiian flowers shirt on because I thought this is one of the last of my clean clothes and I haven't washed them yet. Um, and also, you know, I feel I feel a little bit uh, too eccentric in this. Where I thought, you know, I, I don't have many options left. Um, so yeah, I'm going back into the city centre. Uh, my hostel's quite a while away, as you saw. I'm gonna go back through the train tracks, but I'm still not sure if they're like in use or not because one of them looks quite functional. So that's quite scary. Um, <laughs> but apparently, Google's like, yeah, this is this is a path you can use. Um, mental. And then I also um, I also couldn't really charge my phone, so I have to look for some place to charge it, uh, because like the plug sockets were next to like both of them, were next to like the other bed. There was none near my bed. All the other beds were like occupied. Uh, so I leave my charger because I like charge my phone, but I don't want to get my phone stolen. So I just um, like I charge my phone a bit before bed and then take it, because there's no lockers in this room. I can't leave my phone and I'm scared. I leave it overnight, someone takes it. So I wake up this morning to get my charger. I'm like, where's my charger? This guy's just taken my charger, but he's like sleeping next to it. So I felt like I had to do like one of these, like he was a sleeping dragon kind of thing. I had to like fucking like, like lean over him and, and, and grab it without waking, waking the beast up and then unplug it from his phone. I was like, the audacity of this man. Just taking my charger and using it. Like he had his own charger. I could see it next to mine, but he decided, no. <laughs> Do you know what? I want to use that one, <laughs> my one. So I had to collect my charger. It's like, I'm not just letting you use my charger while my phone dies, so that was so funny. But yeah, anyway, I'm off to find a cafe, charge my phone for a bit, and then, yeah, I'll do some sightseeing. Yeah, so Google had me through here and then like there's three train tracks but i'm pretty sure this one's still in use <laughs> like it goes places but i don't know <laughs> it's genuinely so scary <laughs> and i have to go there <laughs> So there's the uh, the UFO tower. I also highlighted it in the uh, tower I was in when I went to check here, the uh, TV tower. But yeah, really cool building, the UFO. 
and then yeah it's like part of this bridge which is really cool but it also takes forever to get to so I don't think I'll end up going up it this time but <laughs> That's the castle, Bratislava castle. But then this is the view. This is a uh, Kofola. It's a uh, Czech cola apparently. Uh, in Slovakia, because they didn't have Coca Cola when I asked. this like, no, 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 Kofola. I was like, okay, let's go. Uh, tastes kind of weird, tastes kind of cool. It's like a weird mix between like root beer and Coca Cola. It's nice. Okay, so something very important. This cost me £1.50 in Slovakia. Insane. One pound fifty, and it tastes so good. Put it up, put it up. The slowest fucking. It is the slowest fucking game. I mean, we're playing the next one. Wow. Yes, nice. Again. Fuck. <laughs> that was all us, dude. That was all us. Two more points. Two more points. Come on. 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 Like I know it's going slow, but still. Really? The train could actually run me over. So, I, um, I left. Bratislava this morning. I got the bus to Budapest. Now I'm getting a bus from Budapest to Belgrade is my next destination. In Serbia, so I'm hyped. I've got an Airbnb book, so hopefully it should be a little bit more comfortable. I can get a proper shower. I also really need to wash my clothes because they're not in a great state. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully clean myself up a bit and then yeah, I'll be there for two days. I can explore the city. So I'm really excited. Finally made it. Um, yeah, let's hope I, uh, I arrive at my Airbnb. It's not in the situation like I had in Slovakia. I check you in. Right there, other place. <laughs> let's hold on. This is uh, definitely a change of pace. This was only twenty pounds a night, and uh, unlike a hostel, it's all mine. <laughs> I mean, that is my bed, but it's still I, it's my own space, which is amazing. And then I also have a terrace and a view, like you can see the city there. That's just fantastic. Wow. So yeah, it's a shame I can't stay longer, given the rest of my journey, but 
honestly amazing and I, I think I need it. I desperately need that shower and I desperately need my own space. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with a hot stove, but I think I've had it my enough of the now, my fair share of them. <laughs> Hair is wild, um, but I feel fresh. This is like the first shower I've had in like four days because I've either not had time to shower or like the showers have been that disgusting in the hostels. So I'm very happy to uh, to have a shower in my Airbnb and have my own space. It's amazing. Um, Serbia is, uh, yeah, it's not in the EU, which is why I had to like wait at the border for so long and it was really busy. Um, with that, it also means I can't use my data. So I'm now like having to Wi-Fi hop, which makes it interesting. Um, they also don't really, they don't use the euro. Some places unofficially do, but uh, at a really bad exchange rate. So um, I can't really like use euros cash, um, which means I have to take money out. Um, and I'm not sure if too many places take card either, so I can't really use my phone. So that's annoying. So this is just like, it's one of the first countries where it's been like, because it's not in the EU and it doesn't use the currency and it's like, not too big on card it's like it's the first country i've had like a uh, difficult or it's not like as convenient It's just like because it's a form for something illegal, I don't know, or just everybody likes to bet here. But I've seen so many, it's insane like more than I've ever seen in the UK. It's like two plus three, it's mad. Yeah, I'm like walking through this, I don't know, like this alleyway that leads to the design district, which looks so cool. But then all the shops are closed, and I'm not sure if it's because they're like closed out, like, like this one, that's nothing in, or they're just closed because it's Sunday. But I don't know, it looks really cool. It almost looks abandoned at the same time. It's so strange. It's a, it's a cool place. Some cool bookshops, I guess. But nothing's open, it's such a shame. over there that's the fortress Belgrad fortress so I'm gonna see if I can take a look but yeah this is Kalmukdan Kalm Kalmukdan I'm not sure how to say it Kalmukdan Park it's very beautiful
So at least it has some safety features, but it's so rickety. <laughs> Amazing. So now uh, I'm leaving Serbia. I'm leaving Belgrade today. Um, I'm getting the bus to Sofia in uh, Bulgaria. Um, it's a pretty long bus. It's like eight hours or something. Um, but it should be fine. I've uh, booked some more accommodation. I've just left my accommodation in uh, Belgrade. I just met my Airbnb host. And he's so sweet. He was so lovely. He's like, I hope everything was okay. Like, let me know if there's anything that could have made it better. Um, he uh, he gave me like a drink and some snacks to go on my journey with. Uh, he was so nice. And then he had he had like a wall of all the people that had visited him. He like had me sign it. It's really cool. Um, but yeah. I'm off. Okay. Yeah, the other thing I've noticed as well is that here, as long as there's no like crossroads or anything, um, when it's green man and there's no one there, the cars will still go. So even if they're meant to stop, they'll still go. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty dangerous if they, the drivers just don't see you because then they just go. So sometimes you just gotta wait until a driver sees you and then they'll stop. And they don't just automatically stop, which is mad. Um, also, what I wanted to say as well about my journey is that um, the end destination of the European trip is Turkey. Um, and to get to Turkey, I go from here to Bulgaria, Sofia, and then from there. Um, and I wanted to break up my journey a bit, so I booked one hotel in Sofia and one in another town that I've actually forgotten the name of. It's like halfway in between, except there's only one train that goes on that route to Istanbul and that leaves at 6.30 every day from Sofia. So I haven't really split up the trip. I've just kind of like, uh, it's a little awkward with the timings. Like I'll arrive on one day, have like a day to see the city and then I have to hop on the train. Same with the next one. So I think Bulgaria is gonna be pretty full on. Um, and then yeah, it's a long, long way to Istanbul from Bulgaria, even with the halfway trip. It's like total like 12 hours or something, which is why I wanted to break it up. But, and I did break it up, but now it's just like really full on. So we'll, uh, we'll see how I get on and see how my morale probably goes down as I just tire out, but I'm sure it'll be fun anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of the clothes shops as well. It's like mainly women's fashion. I can't seem to see anything. Any men's, it's like a 
not one that's got a shot spot. Yeah, that's all I can find, unfortunately. But it's a cool, it's a cool little place.